Right now we're about at Florence Junction. We're going out about three miles. We get to this intersection. We turn back. It's all gravel road coming down. Here it's about six miles. We keep following it all the way around. And you get out here far enough, you'll see a sign that says the Raymert Mine this way. Then on the road gets a little gnarly. It's got some uh, rocks, twists, turns. So you get back to the old mill site. That's where we're going, where they had the uh, kilns, where they melted down the silver and whatever from the from the mine. That particular vein structure is about a mile long. They mined down a little over 400 feet and was up to 300 feet wide. So they took a lot of, a lot of silver in there and it was uh, found by John Raymer in 1885 and they started working in 1887. These were probably built somewhere around 1885, 87 in that area. That's when they started mining in 1887 and bringing the ore down there. It was very productive for about 12 years and silver started going down in price. By that time, it pretty well mined out the high grade vein they had up there. So anyway, that's where we're at today. We're up here at these smelters and we're gonna go on up the road a little bit and I'll tell you a little bit more about that treasure story. This last half mile is really some tough, gnarly road with a lot of rock and you'll tear some vehicles up. Here's the uh, main point of this whole treasure story okay we're about three quarters of a mile past where we saw the old uh, smelters the old ovens we came up the wash and come on up here and you'll see this cattle grate this old cattle grate in the road here and the story goes around 1940s the guy was back here he's looking at some mines he was climbing in these hills back here and he found a hole in the ground and he kind of opened it up and crawled in it and he found like a wooden pole, long wooden poles, and gold disc with holes in the middle. And they figured they used to slide these gold discs on that pole, and that's how they carried them. Why they were buried up there, I don't know. But he found all these, and he had a short limit of time because he, he was in the military, he's gonna be shipping out. But he saw a couple mines up in this area, which is there's quite a few mines, especially back this way. I know the quarter half miles is the, uh, original mine that we were talking about earlier, the old Raymer mine. But anyway, he snuck down there and he picked up a couple sticks of dynamite somewhere. He went back and he just blasted that uh, opening closed, thinking that he'd get back after the war and open it up someday because he thought it would be worth a lot of money. You know. Um, anyway, he never did make it back. He came back and, and over the years he thought about, thought about it, and he finally told the story to someone and he was about a half a mile from the cattle grade, he thought, to where the, the uh, mine was, until that hole he found. So from here, about a half mile back in those hills somewhere, he supposedly found this hole with, with all these gold donuts or uh, disc in it. So anyway, that's the treasure story. If you're out here, if you want a four wheel back this far, I wouldn't really recommend it. This last half mile is really some tough, gnarly road with a lot of rock and you'll tear some vehicles up. So anyway, be careful and have a good time just coming out here four wheel and looking at some of the uh, scenery and experiencing some of the history around here.
After looking up around the Raymer Mine, and if you're looking for something to do, you might go north of Apache Junction. They have a nice little museum, the Lost Dutchman Museum. And just a little north of that is Goldfield, which is a replica of an old mining town. It's got a saloon. They actually have entertainment on Friday and Saturday nights and sometimes during the week. So it's really nice to go out there and have a look around. And if you really want to read about some treasure stories, you can always pick my book up called Random Tangents by Greg Hawk. All right? Well, have a great day. Thank you.